It is Mario versus this Luma in the epic staring contest of the ages. Who shall win? Well, not me, because I absolutely suck at staring contests. Anyways, hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we got a taste of what purple coin missions were like, or the purple comets, and completed the Terrace Dome for good. In this episode, we are going to do the next dome, which is the Engine Room Dome. But before we do that, we still have this Hungry Luma mission to do outside the Bedroom Dome. So I believe this should be the first thing we do, so we can get this out of the way and not have to worry about it later. And Luma, you are just the fattest of all fat things. Look how cute it looks when it's so fat. I don't know. Fat things are adorable. Fat animals, fat Lumas, I'm telling you. My cat is freaking huge. <laughs> I think I already mentioned how fat my cat was, but I, I can't I can't stop talking about it. It's too fat. <laughs> Anyways, we are doing the Big Mouth Galaxy, which is a really cool mission. Big Mouth's Gold Bait. And this one's actually kinda easy. Self ex well, it's not really self-explanatory. But, uh, as you can see from this cutscene over here, we have a gold treasure chest. The object of this mission is to get a golden, uh, Koopa shell, and from inside this mouth, and bring it back, and hit the gold chest with it. And, wow, I just, uh, invisible wall much? Now, this mission is actually really easy. I do not have any problems with this one at all. Is this a shell? No, it's a one-up. It looked like a shell to me. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, so this episode is actually being recorded around the same time as the last episode was recorded. The reason for that is because I'm, I have things to do the next day, and I just don't have the time to record the next day. I, I think I just said the same thing twice in the same sentence. That's crazy. Um, but I'm hanging out with my friends tomorrow, and I'm probably going to be too tired to record once I return home, so that's why I am doing this now. It's kind of weird, before, I would only, I would like record like three or four episodes at once and then upload them, but I think it's more right to just record once a, once a day. That way it's more recent material that you guys are getting, and when I go to play the game again, I don't forget what I did after three or four days of not touching the game, and then I, I feel like I just start slacking, or I just start failing because I haven't played in a few days. So that is my reasoning for only recording once a day. But this is the exception. Only days where I absolutely have nothing where I cannot record on one day, I just uh, make up for that by recording twice in one day. And wow, that was a really far shell. So anyway, so you get the uh, Slink Star to get up there to get the shell. Now you need to bring the shell back to the beginning and hit that gold treasure chest and that gives you your star pretty self-explanatory. Now, if I haven't mentioned yet, you can actually use this shell, light the booze with the uh, light from the shell, and you will get coins from them. I only like recommend doing that if you are low on health. Okay, so if you missed a shot, well, good luck. You'll have to go back and get another shell, so let's just thank you. I've actually missed that twice, by the way, I, when I played this last time, so <laughs> that I was kind of pissed. <laughs> I had to go back in there and get another one. It does respawn, so it's not like you're out of luck if you frick it up, man. Well, there's our star. Let's go ahead and do a backflip to reach it. There we go. <laughs> See, it's not a hard mission. It's actually really freaking easy, I'm telling you. <laughs> man, that's awesome. So, what does that bring us to? 67 stars? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Come on, you gotta show me right now. Yes, we are at 67 stars. Not bad. Now, this dome that we're entering is one of my favorites. And look at that purple coin galaxies that we're not going to worry about right now. Because we're going to do a new dome. <laughs> I think I will be splitting up the purple coins and the new galaxies. I still haven't decided. But the only reason why I wanted to start this is because, uh, I don't know. I just want to start a new dome. Get some new galaxies in. Even though we just did a new galaxy. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably gonna figure it out at some point. <laughs> so this is the engine room dome, and as we can see, we have discovered the enemy base. So we already have all the galaxies accessible. All right, what do we got? We got. Uh, do I want to do this one first? I think we do. I usually do this bonus ones first. I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> okay, let's do this one first. I lied. <laughs> oh no! Oh crap! This one? Oh whatever. Uh, oh, well, they're both not that great. Okay, maybe I maybe I lie when I said this isn't my favorite dome. <laughs> oh crap! Goldleaf Galaxy, Star Bunny's on the hunt, 
And now when you see this, you're going to think to yourself. You will think when you see this galaxy. Would you look at this? It looks like the same exact thing as the Honey Hive Galaxy. Because it is. Almost. It, it's basically almost the same thing but flip-flops. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright, what do you got to say, Bunny? I'm looking for blue star chips, but yeah, 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 you are. Yeah, but this is pretty much the exact same thing as the last with Honey Hive, except it's flip-flopped. It's really freaking weird, and I don't know why they did this. I couldn't tell you. I mean, some things were changed, and they added some new stuff, but to be perfectly honest, I still don't understand why this exists. Because when I saw this for the first time in my life, I'm like, really? Why would they do a, like, I guess a palette swap of Honey Hive, I don't even know. Um, so we are collecting blue star chips. There's one over there. And the sling star helps us get to it, so that's two. Uh, there's three more. They're pretty, they're pretty easy to find. I think there's one of them in this crate. Yes, I'm right. There's three. You're gonna tell me something stupid, Bunny, so I don't really care what you have to say. Is there anything down here? Oh, God! No, no, no! Oh, I thought that was... Oh, my God. <laughs> so... <laughs> Well, that I survived, thankfully. Um, now, is there anything back here? This is where we just were. Is there anything at the beginning? Or at least over here? Yeah, there's more stuff. I Is there star chips on this planet? Or on this side of the galaxy? No, that just gives you coins. Um, at this point, we are looking for star chips, so let's see if I can find some. Hopefully, we can. This isn't too bad. What's over here? A bunch of star bits. A sleeping bee. That's great. Uh, I guess I'm just exploring at this point. Uh, this is a galaxy I know the least about, actually. I don't really know much about this particular galaxy. So, And you're telling me the ground pound that? I think I've already done that. Uh, so where are the star chips? I don't think they're here, but I think they... I think they are, because if that bunny's over here, so it must be. Right? Oh, there's a lot of star bits, I'll tell you that. Uh, maybe killing this guy will give us... Oh, there's one right there! So, I guess it was great that I came over here, then. That's four. I... Uh, where's the last one? I think it's up... Yeah, it's right there! Well, cool. I managed to find them all without too much of a problem. Thankfully. Uh, can I get up here in a safe way? Uh, no, I just get up here, and I'm just gonna take advantage of this and just use my bee skills and just fly over here. Hopefully I can make it. Yeah, no problem. So here's the last star chip. I'm not gonna take a hit here. And look at that. Okay, I did take a hit there. I'm, I'm kind of stupid or something. Alright, so where do those uh, uh, pole stars appear? Probably in the beginning, right? Maybe? Yes, they did. Okay, let's just go up. I'm guessing there's gonna be a launch star up here. I am correct. Now, where does this lead? Where does this lead? Oh, we have to catch the bunny. Oh, that's just great. Uh, now, how is... What's the most efficient way to do this? I don't think... Huh. Whoa, what? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, this works, because it traps the bunny. Alright, bunny. Come on. Yeah, see, you're gonna have to turn, bunny. You can't catch... Oh, I can... Oh, crap, I... Come on. Come on, I can trap you in the corner. Come on. No. Oh, nice. Perfect. Yeah, give me that star. All you have to do is trap the bunny in the corner. Basically, what my friends do to me in Call of Duty when we play zombies. They trap me in the corner and I die. Happens all the time. But anyways, there's our star. And we are making great time. We can record probably one or two more stars in this rate. Uh, maybe. I hope so. I should have done this, the bonus mission first. I don't know. Bonefin Galaxy just is a creepy galaxy. It's a freaking scary galaxy. And it's not the galaxy itself is scary. It's the freaking boss. It's a boss fight. And it's freaking creepy. Alright, back in Gold Leaf. Let's continue forth with our goal to finish this as, or as much as we can do in it. Alright, what do we got for the second mission? We got Cataquack to the Skies. <laughs> what the heck was that? And what the heck is all this nonsense? My cat is meowing the world away. 
I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my cat is freaking screaming his face off to come into my room right now. But you know what? It's not going to happen. I won't fall into that temptation. I won't do it. I really... Okay, my cat's going to keep meowing, isn't he? I hope he doesn't. Oh my god, Allie needs to be quiet. Alright, Cataclack. Let's just go up here. And I think the bonus mission, the bonus galaxy is actually on this planet. If I'm not, I, I don't know if it's in this mission or the last one. Oh, no, it's here. Because you can use this to go up. Uh, you're going to want to ring this bell, I think. No, you're not. You're going to want to collect this coin, right? No, that just gives you star bits. Okay, I know the secret mission's here. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm actually going to do this first. Because this is the only case, one of the few cases where I will get the secret mission first, because it's right here. Now, this one's kind of easy. I don't know if you're on a time limit for this. I think you are. And I'm trying not to miss any here. And there you go. There's our star right there. Takes rid of, gets rid of that secret mission, so I don't have to worry about it later. Very, very convenient. Not bad. I'm kind of happy that that's over. Because <laughs> I was like, huh, I wonder what the secret mission was. But as soon as I saw that bubble, or, or that part of the galaxy, I knew where it was. So I was like, you know what, let's go take it down now. The bell on the big tree. That is pretty self-explanatory, because you actually use the bell on the big tree to get the star. Or to get the notes with you. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Alright, back in gold leaf. <laughs> Okay, so now we are actually going to formally do this mission the way it should be. Or, well, yeah, we're going to do this mission the right star way. The right star way. The right way, I suppose. It's not like the secret mission was the wrong way. It was just not the way. This is not what the star is. You know, I only, why am I worrying about star bits? We have plenty. Eh, I guess I could get some star bits. Why not, right? Whoa, camera. Camera. Holy crap. Alright, Cataclack. Launch me up and go. Basically, you're under the Cataclack's mercy. <laughs> Honestly, you really are, though. Because you have to wake them up and you ha and they have to fling you to places. Cataclack, wake up. No. Hey, wake up. Fling me up in the sky. Alright, so then we're going to want to go up here. Cataclack, I'm under your mercy. And we're going to want to go up here. Really? Do we want to go up here? No, that just gives you star bits. Uh, oh no, this is where the launch star is, right? Yeah, this is where we're supposed to go. See, we are under Cataclack's mercy. Man, I hate being under the mercy of animals. Or animals? Uh, I hate being under the mercy of enemies, because it's so annoying. Alright, Cataclack, you got to come with me, because you have to fling me up here, right? Yes, I am. They give. You, I think there's a little symbol on the... Um, on the ground that symbolizes where the Cataclack needs to be when he flings you, so you have an idea. No, Cataclack, you need to wake up. Wake up, dude. Come on, follow the leader. I will clear the path for you. Come here. You shall not be harmed. I think I took you the wrong way, though. Wait, let me see where this way goes, just so I can be sure here. Okay, alright, Cataclack, I know where you're supposed to go. Ugh, the freaking maze. Come here, Cataclack, come on. Give me a bo- Uh, no. No. Cat, uh, cat, nope. You were just like my cat, Cataquack. No! Cataquack, you were just like my cat. Come here. Turn around. Thank you. Follow me. I have tasty treats. I have tasty treats. I have tasty treats. There we go. Good job, buddy. Oh, this is a freaking weird, weird, weird. This is a weird planet, because if you long jump off this, and you just go spinning for hours, man. It's hilarious. And if I could just be at the r oh, yep, here we go, yep, yep, here we go, here we go, yep. Cataclack, no. C stop flinging me. Stop it. Oh my god. Stop it. Okay. Cataclacks, can you please come here and fling me upwards? Thank you. See, that planet is freaking strange. Well, the star is obviously right there, as you can see it. We're going to have to go through an obstacle course to get it. It, you may be able to see it, but we're going to need some uh, some B-form powers here to get to it. Let's go ahead and go under here. Get some star bits. Why not? Why not? Um, okay, where are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to kill enemies? Cataquack, hello. 
Cataclac, I don't really think I need you right now. Cataclac, stop it. I'm trying to kill this enemy right now. Thank you. Alright, I'm trying to decide what I'm supposed to do here. I think we're supposed to use the Cataclac to get up here. Cataclac, I actually need you now, buddy. <laughs> it's a Jenga tower. It's so hilarious. Come on, keep flinging. Come on, Cataclac. Alright, I want a long jump off, or I want to backflip off this, can I? Can you backflip off this? You can. Now I'm confused how to get up here now. Hold on, I'm getting confused. I don't know, honestly. Hold on. No! Spin, please! Get out of here, Cataquack. Oh, the be- Oh, no! Cataquack! Come here! Come here! Give me the B form. Can I get it? Thank you. All right, I see what I'm supposed to do now. Cataquack, I need you one more time. No, Cataquack. Oh my God, I hate being under the mercy of these Cataquack, man. All right, get up here, and then we can use our B form to climb up here, and then we can start. <coughs> we can start getting the star. I don't know if I'm gonna show all that failage, because I'm just wandering around trying to figure out how to get up here, so... I'll figure it out. Alright, let's keep moving, shall we? Alright, so the star is going to be right there. Let's just, um... Can I make it? I don't think I can. I'm gonna... Recharge, and then... Get the star! Very, very nice! Very, very nice! Now, we didn't exactly get everything we could do right now. I mean, it is 17 minutes, but partial, might, that might be a little cut, so I might be able to have enough time for one more galaxy, or for one more mission. I don't know. You guys deserve a long video, I suppose. I don't know. It's a good once in a while to have a long video. Now, the question is, do I want to go back in here to get this, or do I want to go and do this? No, I know I have a lot of time to think about it, so let's go to Gold Leaf and finish this up. I don't know how long this is going to be, but whatever. We can manage. Let's see. When it rains, it pours. Now, what do we got? This is a boss. Yes, it is. And it's a, not a hard one. Hopefully, I can squeeze in this under 25 minute time limit. Let's see if I can do this. Yes. All right. So, you're going to want to get that leaf up there, or th that leaf, you're going to want to get that coin. I'm going to try to do this quickly so we have enough time here. Can I get this coin in time? Probably not, because I suck. That's just a one-up, no one cares. Um, you're going to need a leaf, or a le you're going to need a B form. Why do I say, oh no, you need a, you need a B, hold on. Because you can't go on those flowers without a B, and it's right there, so. I think they lowered this platform. That's, I think that's one difference from Honey Hive, is that they lowered that platform. Okay, B form. We need to walk on the water, or the uh, clouds. Because only B form can, and he and you can't go in the water, or else you lose your B. Basically, this is just a really long obstacle course just to get to the top to fight the boss of this stage. So, yeah, we're going to be exploring a little bit. So, how's everybody doing today? As I mentioned, this is being recorded at the same time as the last episode, around that time. Um, nothing much has changed. At all. I've still did the same, I've still been doing the same thing I've done all day. Alright, let's take a little shortcut here, because I don't feel like going through any of that madness over there. You can really abuse this B form if you really know how to use it, honestly. It's really easy to just abuse it. Alright. Can I actually get up here? I wonder. Hold on, I think you can, and I'm not gonna waste too much time if I can't, but I'm going to try. Oh, barely. Uh, I'm not gonna try again, because I don't want to waste time here. Um, I don't want that to come over here. You know what, I can just go around it. Yeah, not too, not too problematic. Very, very easy. Oh no 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 don't come over here where are you going Alright can I do this Not bad not bad I think we're almost at the top though I really hope we are because I kinda wanna finish this up 
Yo, go, 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 go. Okay, this boss is a freaking joke if you have the B form. Hopefully, I can keep it. Because if I can, that would be amazing. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I need to. All right, that needs to disappear. All right, don't lose your B form for this. Because I kind of want to show how easy it is if you have it. That's one hit. He does take three hits. But like I mentioned, if you have your B form, you shouldn't have a problem with this, honestly. There's two. Alright, this could be a problematic because he shoots his laser. Oh, not his laser, he shoots his gun. He's a little bit more accurate. No, I... Oh, alright, maybe this time I will demonstrate how to beat this the right way, I suppose. You get up here, you hit this. Which makes those, uh, pop up. You can just go at... No. They don't last long, so you're gonna have to hightail it before they go back down. Um... I'm just gonna long jump, or not long jump, and there you go! Not hard! Kinda easy if you know how to do it. If you kept your B form, you could do it a lot faster for the three hits, but I just, I could, alright, let's not die then. I don't feel like dying trying to get over here, so. And there we go! Very, very nice! So all we have left in this galaxy is the Prankster Comet and the Purple Comet. Which I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna do it while I'm here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I, this is the problem. At this point in the game, where you can either do purple coin missions or new galaxies, it's kind of hard to decide. I haven't really decided. So I'm not gonna make any guarantees of what I'm gonna be doing next. I just want to see if the prankster comment is here. It is, and it's a cosmic comment. I don't feel like doing that. So, with that being said, I'm probably. I'm actually gonna end this video off here. We did some nice progress. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy, I will decide what we do next. We could do Purple Coin missions in the earlier galaxies, or we can come back up here in the engine room and finish up the Gold Leaf Galaxy, and possibly do the, uh, the Bonefin Galaxy. I don't know. We'll figure that out for next time. On that note, I will see you guys next time for more Super Mario Galaxy.